Hello everybody, this is Gary, and at the time that I made this video, it's about mid-February, which is when I start my pruning. If you've ever watched any of my previous videos, I have about 70 fruit trees, and it can be quite a bit of work for my wife and I, because we're both in our mid to late 60s. And so, I wanted to try something different. So I went online and bought these electric battery powered pruners, and they're intended to make it easier on my wrist. I've had carpal tunnel surgery already on both my wrists. I don't know if it has anything to do with the pruning or not. I thought I would try these. I bought these from Amazon and they were not inexpensive. They were about $288 without taxes and shipping. I've been hoping to try something else for quite some while because of the workload. I couldn't really use hydraulic pruners because of their expense. You can pay over a thousand dollars for the compressor and the equipment itself. So this is a less expensive option that I can use. Now when we open the package, we have of course the pruners. We also have two battery packs with this and the battery packs will run for three to four hours of work. And that's more than enough time for me. Usually I won't even be out there four hours, uh, depending on how cold it is and how tired I get tromping through the snow. It also comes with a uh, charger where you can plug in both battery packs. Inserting the batteries is easy. You just simply line it up and push it in and you're ready to go. Now these do have a little bit of weight to them and anything that you're holding up for any length of time and cutting different places is going to make your hand tired. Now you can switch back and forth. I happen to be ambidextrous and that can work for me. These are intended to be used with your right hand. To get started, simply turn on the little blue button here in the back. You'll hear a beeping sound and then pull the trigger twice. And this opens up the shears and you're ready to go and when you want to make a cut simply press down on the trigger and it cuts and once you pull that trigger it's going to close now it's very important that you treat these with care because you can easily remove a finger uh, and that's not going to be pleasant and I'm concerned more with small children getting their hands on these and playing with them so uh, the best thing to do is when you're not using these Simply close them and then turn it off. And then push down this red button here and remove the battery. It slides out just like that. And make sure that you can store this in the case, but make sure the kids can't get to it. I mean, maybe even use a little zip tie on it or something if you have a very inquisitive child that tends to get into things they have no business messing with. Now it's really important that you read all the directions because it will tell you how to close the blade to a smaller opening for just cutting smaller cuts. And they also give you instructions on how to care for the batteries, which means they should not be exposed to extremes in heat and cold for long periods of time, um, specifically heat. Uh, also, they give you some tools, a couple of tools here, and these are for adjustments that you may have to make to your equipment. Specifically, you may have to do some adjustment for the blades. Keep those with your set so you don't lose them. The instructions will also provide information on lubrication, so keep those with your pruners and please read them over completely, especially the safety information. So, those are my pruners. Let's go outside and take a look at how they work. I'm out in the orchard right now and it's a nice day for pruning from a standpoint of temperature, but the snow is just too deep out here. It's almost up to my knees and it makes it very difficult to move around. So I'd like to get this done and get back in the house. Before I start, I want to say something about keeping your hands warm while you're pruning. You'll notice here that I have a fairly thin glove on compared to say this ordinary work glove that I use a lot of time 
The fingers are so fat here, it would make it very difficult for me to pull that trigger on the pruning shears. But these normally would not keep me very warm on a cold day. So one of the things I do is I have a glove under it. You'll notice it's like a food handling glove or the kind of glove a doctor would use for an examination or something like that. And this helps to keep heat close to your body and on a warmer day, your hand will actually start to sweat. But if it's really, really cold, like sub-zero weather, even this won't do the job. Another thing I like to have in the orchard is chemical hand warmers. When I buy these, they come in a plastic container. You cut it open, shake it up, and it's good for six to eight hours, and it, it, it will kick out quite a bit of heat. So I'll keep this in my pocket, and if I'm having any problems keeping my hands warm, then I will just take my glove off and stick my hand in my pocket for a little bit. Okay, let's uh, get started and you can see how these pruners work. For safety reasons, I want to keep my hands away from the blade. If I'm going to steady a branch, I'm going to put my hand way up here, away from the blade. Now, these are branches that I want to take off on the inside. They're not adding anything to my training system. And they are about uh, a half inch across. Let's see how easily these take these off. And that was pretty fast. I have one on this side. For smaller ones, you can take off pretty quickly. So it does a very fast job. And I can cut pretty quickly, so I'll just show you how fast I can cut them. So I can go through here and take off a lot of branches very quickly without stressing my uh, hand too much. I just have to pull this trigger. Now that repetitive motion in itself can make your hand tired. When I have my arm in a position up here and I'm cutting branches, say here or here, over time my hand's gonna get, or I should say my arm is gonna get a little bit tired because this does have a little bit of weight as I mentioned earlier. So I have not timed myself yet in terms of how long it takes compared to using hand shears, but this will cut branches that I normally would have to use my loppers for. And let's see if I can find uh, a larger branch that I want to take off and see how well it does. As the battery starts to run down, it starts to have difficulty cutting the larger branches, but you have two batteries, so you can, uh, you can deal with that. Now this branch right here, is a good inch thickness and I would normally have to use loppers for this. Let's see what this thing can do with this. Now I need to clear out a couple of smaller branches first so that I can get to it without much trouble. Okay, the way has been cleared. So I'm gonna cut right here and I'll get this little one out of the way too. I'll clean up that later. I'm gonna cut it right here and see if this particular cut is difficult for these pruners. Oh, did you see how fast that went through that? So instead of having to switch from, say, my hand pruners to a pair of loppers, and you know, I leave them all over the place so it takes time to do that, I can just use this pair and it'll cut an inch easily. So this is gonna save me some time I can use one tool to cut both the large and the small branches, and so this is gonna be much more efficient. Of course, as I mentioned before, it does cost a little more, but to me, it is worth it. And my arms are only gonna get stronger as I'm lifting these things all the time. It's like little weights in your hands. So uh, I am very satisfied with these, and I can't wait till the weather gets a little bit better, a little bit warmer, and a little less snow out here so I can come out here and use them to their full capacity. So if you like them, you might want to check them out. You can get them from Amazon. And that's what I have to tell you. I hope you enjoy this little demonstration. And if you're interested in doing additional pruning, I have a number of other pruning videos that you can watch on my channel from training a young apricot tree on up to training mature dwarf apples, standard pears and others. And I'll continue to put those videos on there. They happen to be some of the most popular videos I make. This is Gary, I'm getting cold, so I will see you later.